Hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss about internal linking. I'm not a big fan of external link building, and the reason is that the amount of effort it requires to make such kind of links and the reward which I get in terms of traffic does not justify. Yes, external link building is very important from SEO perspective, but as a new beginner blogger, those things does not count much. So personally, I prefer internal linking. Now let's discuss more about that. What is internal linking? Internal linking basically means that you have one post and you are linking to another post from your own website. Let me show you with an example. Suppose I have this post. In this post, I have written an article regarding this particular ways to boost your self confidence. Over here, you find that I have a link over here, but this link, as you can see, it is referring to Harvard medical school now that is an external link but what i'm speaking about right now is that internal link building which is basically linking to my own website so you see over here i have the word don't set unrealistic goal if you click over here you will be taken to my website only another article of my website which is regarding how to set realistic goals so both this web article and this ways to boost both of them i from my own website this ability to link from one website or oh sorry one article to another article is called internal linking so this is what is all about internal linking now what are different types of internal linking there are various types of internal linking like as you can see if you go to my website you will find that this uh, categories which i have uh, clearly mentioned above these are all sort of internal linking because whenever a person clicks this personal development he will be taken to my category which has everything related to self improvement if someone clicks blog monk then they will be taken to all the articles which i have written regarding website web building and such kind solopreneur guide regarding solopreneur guide personal finance you will be taken to personal finance category so this is one way of doing this another is that suppose you have some kind of uh, privacy policies which is also written in your website so you have mentioned over here so this is one sort of internal linking another is that you can so you can either have them in the main menu or in the side or in the footer so in my case it is in the main menu and also in the footer also uh, when someone visits my website they will find that after a particular when they read an article after a particular point of time you will find that there are other related articles which have been suggested this is also a sort of internal linking now what uh, this i have done with the help of a plugin If you want to know the name of the plugin just comment below I will reply to you or I will make a separate video to show you how you can do that but in today's topic it's regarding internal linking next you have contextual internal linking now contextual internal linking basically means that over here you have a particular context and you are linking that context now let me show you and explain to you suppose over here in this article which is regarding ways to boost your self confidence I have written the word that I have written this sentence just let me take it take you to there yeah i have written that don't expect too much from yourself don't set unrealistic goals and standards for yourself now over here this don't set unrealistic goal it is a text it is anchor text and i have linked this anchor text with another article of mine which is how to set realistic goals so this kind of internal linking is basically your contextual internal linking So whenever someone is speaking about internal linking there are three types of internal linking basically navigational internal linking which can be done in the main menu or in the footer next you have the contextual internal linking which is this or the third one is that what i have done over here with the help of plugin i have shown related articles based on my requirement you can show these related articles based on the uh, categories or based on any keyword or based on any tags so you can do that now next point why do we need internal linking Now what happens is that this internal linking it helps both the search engine and also the reader who has come to your website to know more about your website. Suppose my website I am writing articles regarding how to manage distractions, I am writing articles how to improve your self confidence, I am writing articles how to set realistic goals. So these kind of articles also I am writing articles on your personal finance, I am writing articles on Java techniques like Pomodoro technique, Ikigai So everything which I have written over here, suppose when I was a person is searching for ways to boost self confidence. Now that person was searching for only ways to boost confidence, but 
along with boosting the self confidence they also need to set realistic goal because if you set unrealistic goals then you will not be able to boost your confidence only when you set realistic goal and you achieve them you can have so the person who was searching for ways to boost self confidence was not aware that there can be an article on how to set realistic goal which i have already written now here what i did was is that i have when a person came for ways to boost self confidence i have shifted them to set realistic goals so i have kept them engaged i have given them value how, how? because initially they were not aware that my website had those kind of content so now i have they are made available the same thing happens with search engine when a search engines comes to my website and they find that these kind of internal linkings they can easily understand what my entire theme of the website is next your reader since they will have more of content to read they will be staying longer period of time in your website and if they stay longer in your website then google or any kind of search engine they will understand that your website or the articles which you are writing are good quality articles and that's the reason you are able to retain your audience and that is a very 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 important parameter that will boost your ranking dramatically and that is the reason i'm telling external link building also does the same thing in external link building also you get approval from other websites but over there you have to either inform those websites to uh, get the internal linking that is completely dependent upon their will today they might be linking to you tomorrow they may be linking to someone else but this internal link building they stays with you forever so i personally prefer internal link building now as i have already told you uh, what this internal link building does is that it helps the search engine to find the all the contents which is available in your website and help them understand the theme of your website so basically you are uh, telling google or in search engine or user that i have this page a by this one article which is related to another article of mine which is related to another article of mine so in each, if you read all of them you are going to get the full value so that improves your authority over the particular topic now since over here i have written a lot of articles regarding management time management skills tips and tricks how to improve your productivity so google and the person who is coming to my website will understand that okay this person has some kind of knowledge regarding productivity has some kind of knowledge that can help me improve my confidence improve my knowledge so this is this improves the authority the next advantage is that suppose one of my article is ranking suppose this particular uh, ways to boost self confidence it was ranking in number 1 but how to set realistic goal it is not ranking in number 1 it may be ranking in another suppose at 10th or 20th position now when i am linking from this article this ways to boost your self confidence article to my how to set realistic goal what i am doing is that i am transferring my link juice what i am doing is that i am transferring the authority so this first article this but uh, this ways to uh, boost your self confidence it was ranking number 1 but another article was ranking in number 10th now when i point from this article to that one what it does is that it is uh, transferring the authority to my next article and hence the ranking of that article will start to improve so this way when this improves if you set this to another article and which was having in 15th position suppose then it will also increase so this helps in improving the ranking so these are the two most important things number one you are helping the search engine and the user to understand what your website's theme is all about what type of articles you are writing how you can um, add value to their life and number two is that you are improving your authority next year i want you to understand that please remember make sure that you do you follow these things number one is that fix any kind of broken internal linking suppose i have link this website this particular article which i link now when someone clicks over here and right now if you click this particular link then you will find that it opens to another article now for some reason i have mistyped a particular url and it is not pointing out in that case i will be making a broken link so that you have to pay attention that the link which you are giving are or proper url the urls are proper and those articles are present and they are relevant articles relevancy is very important suppose i'm not i'm writing an article first article which is regarding 
पर्सनल फाइनेंस एंड द सेकेंड आर्टिकल इट इज रिगार्डिंग फुटबॉल ना वॉट हैज पर्सनल फाइनेंस टू डू विथ फुटबॉल सो दे इज नो पॉइंट इन लिंकिंग सो दिस इन रिलिवेंट इंटर लिंकिंग विल हार्म योर वेबसाइट सो यू शुड नॉट डू दैट then too much of this internal linking is bad so in a particular website in a particular article uh, personally i feel that 5 to 6 internal linkings are okay over here if you can see that i have one two three four and if you go down there you will find another one so four in some articles i'm writing five some in six so it depends upon you but preferably keep it less than six so it's too many is bad and number third is that do not put no follow no follow is what is that suppose you have written an article a and or from article a you are linking to article b but you are telling the search engine that please do not follow this now this you can do with the help of uh, seo plugins by default you will not be getting this so any time you link any kind of articles that will be do follow means they you are telling the search engine that please follow uh, but in some seo plugins you have the ability that for any external linking whether it is to your website or to other website you can add no follow attributes now please do not put no follow because for internal linking you need to have do follow so this is the initial idea about what is internal linking now how to build your internal linking st- uh, strategy first identify the main pages of which are having high volume of traffic now this obviously you can get from any kind of um, keyword rank uh, uh, suppose keyword uh, tracking saas products like uh, rank tracker and uh, semrush and such kind of thing or else if you do not want to pay for that you can also use your this uh, google search console and you can see which type of keyword is getting most impression so over here as you can see 1100 impressions are getting i'm getting for why it is important set realistic goal But, so i know that this keyword is important and this is the way by which you can identify which page is having more points you can also go to particular pages and see which page suppose over here uh, this page set realistic goal it is having such kind of impression so i know this page is very important now initially i will focus on this particular page and i will be focusing on this page and i will see what are the uh contextual text for which i can link back so from this particular article as you can see i have linked to how success looks like i have linked to how do you compare an entrepreneur and employee mindset then i have also linked to seven tips to write a good article quickly so these are the things which i have linked to so i know this web this particular article is ranking this particular article, article is having some kind of authority so from i'm transferring that authority to my other articles which are not yet having such numbers so this is how you can identify so if you have sham samrush rf or uh, or rank tracker or any kind of keyword tracking web uh, saas tool then you can use those or else you can just go and go to your google search console and see for a particular page which page is doing um, better and then for that particular to do the internal linking preferably when you are writing an article only you should do internal linking but that's up to you whether you want to do it or not if you have not done internal linking till now then you can follow this particular method so next is that you have to choose a relevant anchor text this is very important relevancy has to be very has to be given a priority as i've already told you you are writing an article on personal finance and the second article is regarding football third article is regarding swimming and if you just point it them then this is not going to work out so relevancy is very 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 important so you have to find relevancy and next is that you can target long tail specific terms which are better but it is not a hard and fast rule it can be any type of context and next there has to be natural opportunity it is not that you want to put internal linking so you are putting internal linking to each and every keyword you see on the website or web page is not going to work you have to do it naturally something when a person is reading if you find that yes they might have some kind of suppose when a person is reading this article of mine this article which is a ways to boost self confidence now when they are reading this article they might have a, a doubt that oh, what will happen when i said unrealistic goal 
so in that case this article is helping them to set realistic goal also when in order to boost your self confidence you need to stop procrastination in order to be productive so these are relevant so this relevancy is very important natural opportunity and relevancy is very very important in your internal linking so you have to take some time you have to carefully plan them one more thing if you are not, uh, if you have written too many articles in your website already and you are not aware how to find out the uh, articles or how to find out the websites on which you can link then what you can do is that you can use this command suppose you will write site this column then give the name of your website my website is themindbeta.com so i'm giving mindbeta.com you can give your website and then within the inverted commas you write the keyword which you are searching for so in my case i'm searching for procrastination i've entered so now i can have all the web pages on which i have written an article so you can just go and check them see this time management it also has a word procrastination this 11 tips to be successful it also has procrastination three reasons and three, five reasons to stop uh, achieving from your dreams this is also having the word procrastination so i have now three or four articles for this particular keyword so when i'm writing another article regarding procrastination i can link from there to them or from them to the new one so this two way internal linking can be done so this particular code i will provide you the link in the description this is basically you type site semicolon then put the name of your website website whether it is .com .in .org whatever and then you just put the keyword which you are typing it can be one word keyword or you can be two you can have two word keyword keyword one two you can have them and then you just press one enter and you will find that this google search console i have already told you you can go to your google search console you can see the queries you can see what queries are having more number of impressions from this particular keywords you can use as a contextual text as i have said over here this anchor text you can use these keywords as your where it is you can use these keywords as your anchor text and then you can link or you can find which are the pages which is the top performing page page and then from that particular page go to your other pages uh so as i have told you your aim should be to point to at least two or three internal linking of for every piece of content which you are writing it should be basic, uh, preferably less than six too many of internal linking is bad so this is also you need to pay attention to so this is all about internal linking uh, i hope i have been able to explain to you what is internal linking and how to do it effectively for that all you need as a for a free version you can use google search console or you can use this particular keyword and you can easily find the pages for you which you need to do the keyword internal linking or else you if you have samrush or rf or any kind of rank tracker websites uh, sorry tools then also you can use those but no matter what please 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 pay attention and do internal linking even if you do not do external link building that is okay i have never done it what i personally suggest is that you write good quality content you give data you provide good pictures images and uh, give those things you will definitely get quality backlinks naturally you do not have to beg someone for that uh, backlinks but this internal linking is something which you have to do it for your website and you can do it easily but it will take some time so have patience and do it if you have any kind of doubt please comment below i will try to clear your doubts or else i will make separate video on regarding all those doubts i hope it helps thank you